Everything is prepared for the dream ritual. I am ready. How unusual. I do not collect a story, but help create it. Good luck, your highness. And may the gods guide your way. Explore Nerissa's dreams. What troubles you? Lindsay is with us. No stopping now. Our sister. Our mistress. Our queen. Our sister. Our mistress. Our queen. Our sister, our mistress, our queen. Hail to our queen. Stop calling me that. In the darkest hours and the brightest days, you simply called me sister. I need no other title. Your songs and laughter accompanied me in my happiest moments. I would rather not shift them to honorifics. The time of my triumph is nigh, sisters. I want to share it with you as I have always shared my secrets, my sorrows, and my joys. Even after I become an eldest, I shall not abandon you. My realm will be the kingdom of spring, love, and life, and you will all be most welcome there. Be happy, sister. Be victorious, sister. Wow, we're inside her dream. Maybe we should try talking to her. She may not quite be the real Nyrissa, but that's kind of the point. In her dreams, she can let out the things she would never say in the real world. Be careful, Nyrissa. You have always been the bravest of us, and none deserve to be an eldest more than you. But these ambitions may come with a steep price. Perhaps I have always been the bravest, Devendra, but you have always been the grumpiest. We are blessed with eternal life, but we keep living out each day, abiding by rules we have no hand in creating. My plan is daring, you say? Well then, so be it. I simply pray we do not end up paying a price we cannot bear. The cheerful voices of the nymphs fade away and the vision seems to freeze. The ghostly Nerissa stands before you, her eyes seeming to see you without noticing you. What have you done to your sisters, Nerissa? What I did to them is paltry compared with what was done to me. But you cannot understand. No one can. Just go away. No. Well, that was bogus. We can do it. Serves you right. You deserved it. Any last wishes? Should be careful, dreams are already full of monsters. I dread to think of what might be inside Nerissa's head. Finish 
touch me, scum! I will not bow my head! What? Come so quickly. Get ready. Get scared. Not far off from the edge of the kennel. Listen. Listen to me, trespasser. You sought a kingdom. I seek something simpler. Apology. As you sought to steal a kingdom for yourself, so must you do again, a thousand times over. For a theft, a true theft, must be practiced to be earned. It will be a lengthy task. This is how it shall be measured. Make ruins of kingdoms. When each is dust, the grains shall gather in this vessel. When a thousand grains are gathered, bring it before us as an offering, so that an eldest may sit from it. When that is done, your trespass shall be forgiven. So many nations. It is... An impossible task! Ow! Oh, let your unrequited love guide you. Guided you to your first kingdom. So it shall be dead. Seek it. Hunt for it. Lust for it. Let the emptiness inside you become your deadliest weapon. It is not an impossible task! After all, what use is an apology that cannot ever be given? Given. Curse. 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 Get ready. Get scared. Learn. Listen. Listen to me, trespasser. You sought a kingdom. I seek something simpler. Apology. Guilty. Do. Lost. Cursed. As you sought to steal a kingdom for yourself, so must you do again. A thousand times over. For a theft, a true theft, must be practiced to be earned. It will be. A lengthy task. This is how it shall be measured. Make ruins of kingdoms. When each is dust, the grains shall gather in this vessel. When a thousand grains are gathered, bring it before us as an offering, so that an eldest may sit from it. When that is done, your trespass shall be forgiven. Where will I find so many nations? It is... An impossible task! How? Oh, let your unrequited love guide you. Guided you to your first kingdom, so it shall again. Seek it, hunt for it, lust for it. Let the emptiness inside you become your deadliest weapon. It is not an impossible task. After all, what use is an apology that cannot ever be given? Cursed. Cursed. Did I truly deserve all this? It breaks my heart to see what this curse has turned into in the end. So many wish to judge me. Someone who cannot comprehend the burden of the curse, you assume far too much. Burn!
Damn, I didn't even see that one. love guide you to the doomed kingdoms. No, I will not search any longer, but I must find it. Come now, start searching. It must be here in the stolen lands. Those, uh, I told them to stop searching. No, I told them to search. For what? It is pointless. Why do I need this? Do you see now? Do you see? They ripped my heart out and threw it into your world. And something else was torn out with it. Uh, let's see. Your kindness, your soul. Exactly are you looking for? Something that was stolen from me. Do you believe the aim of my curse was the destruction of your pathetic kingdoms? No, that was merely a path towards redemption. The curse, it deprived me of a part of my soul. The most important part. Ripped from me, crippled, mutilated, and turned into an artifact. The Briar. Hmm. No, no, something deeper. Brighter, I suppose. I only know the sound of this word, but not its meaning. A burning word. A stupid word. Love. See, that's what I'm thinking! That's what I'm thinking. I was told by the others from the first world that this is who I'm destined to be with, my nerds. I don't believe the soul can be irreparably damaged. Caps. Not all is lost for you after all. Your words resound with an unexpectedly loud echo. Seemingly influenced by them, the surrounding world begins to change. Oh shit! In an eerie, uh, in the eerie silence following the king's last words, he heard a strange melodic, uh, melodic chime. The world around us began melting into a colorful whirlwind. An insidious nymph, nymph, Irissa was gone. The visions of her servants faded away like candle smoke. <clears throat> I instantly realized what was happening. We were being drawn to the deepest level of the dream. In places like these, secret memories and desires could be hidden, sometimes not even known by their owner. <laughs> what incredible luck to make it there. But would we be able to return? We found ourselves in a flat area among glistening pale green rocks. An area lush of vegetation spotting the rocks we easily recognized as flowers of the first world. Beneath the cliffs, a forest of white trees with sky-blue leaves could be seen in the distance. A sharp spire of an ordinate castle reached into the colored, colorful cloud. As we watched, the castle trembled and very slowly began to move moving away. It was built on the back of a huge, huge, enormously huge three-eyed elephant. Uh. Interesting with bre uh, branching tusks. I turned and realized that we, had, that we had also changed shapes, obeying the laws of the dream. Our king turned into a magnificent, powerful dragon, a foes grim, regal, handsome representative of the fey people, tall, slender, sprawling tree. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to go with a Fosgrim, handsome representative of the Fey people. 
But what had I become? The king met my gaze and said, Lindsay, you look exactly like a flying inkwell, <laughs> a shaggy giant with a huge club, and an unknown but fluffy creature. What had I become? The king met my gaze and said, an unknown fluffy creature. <laughs> the wind blew the long white hair from the Fosgrim king. His sea blue eyes shining an incredible light. The feeling, the full power of his new guise. The king immediately tried to charm the attractive being. You see 20. Intelligent. Charm the attractive being. Failed. I rolled a seven. That's so good. However, it seemed not all hopes can be true before the king could even wink at any of the first world creatures. It appeared freaky old Trent crawled out from under behind some rocks and drove us away, yelling that it wasn't pollution, uh, pollination season yet and that the young people should find something useful to do. After these adventures, the king decided to... Shit, man, it's, this ain't gonna happen. Well, we got a good roll there. First world... From what the legends say is a special place and those who possess who possess enough strength and imagination can alter the reality there to their liking our king of course <clears throat> was one of those gifted concentrating and easily changing the color of the leaves on the nearest aspen bright purple after that it was time for a more ambitious task we really wanted to write a few notes about the king's incredible adventures, but this, but in my new guise, it was pretty difficult. Besides, how could someone even take notes out of a dream? All I could do was really manage. Maybe I should have went with the inkwell. But during the particularly high jump, I saw something interesting, a snow-covered glade in the middle of the sun-draped forest of summer a flocking fay was hiding in a luring, shining casket. I decided to commit the place to memory in case it came up uh, handy. Building a stairway to the sky, dropping a lake from the mountain. Okay. After several attempts, the Fosgrim King had built a fancy stairway out of rainbow and adorned it with waterfalls on either side. Falling out of the sky, a, a melodic laugh suddenly rang out of nowhere. Not offensive, but rather inspiring. It seemed someone was watching the king's attempts. It was one of the other, it was, it was none other than Nis Nerissa herself approaching. But something in her appearance was strikingly different from the insidious cold-blooded villain we had come to know. There was no shadow of arrogance or anger in her face, just the cheerful sparkles in her bright blue eyes. I'm glad to meet you, new guest in my domain. Greetings. Didn't seem to recognize us at all. Oh, is this your realm? Oh, yes. The nymph pointed to the forest below with elegant gesture. Obeying her will, the trees immediately changed their colors, turning from white and blue to red and gold, and then elegant green. I am Nerissa. This is my thousand breaths. He smiled dreamily and ran up the steps to our heavenly stairwell. I see you have already begun settling yourself in my realm. Fine work. I, like you, stranger, will, st uh, you, will you stay with me? Soon I will become something much more than I am now. Soon my domain will become larger and more beautiful. Borders open to the bravest, most wonderful creatures all with blazing souls. Together we will create a dreamland unlike any in the first world has ever known. Silence fell for a moment before the king finally replied. 
This is a crazy plan. Give up or you lose everything. It's a good idea. Too bad. It's all a dream. I don't like any of those. It's a good idea. Too bad this is all a dream. A dream? Nim showed no understanding of what, what we meant. But she smiled warmly, uh, if a bit teasingly. Let it be so then. One day this dream will become reality. We children of the first world are gifted with the ability to change reality. So we will free though we are free to fulfill any dream. We are often too timid to do this, expecting punishment from our self-proclaimed gods. But if for one, but I for one am not afraid, how about you, stranger? Her words sounded progressively quieter as the words around us was subsumed in the multicolored fog. Before the king could reply, the vision faded. Then we found ourselves in a completely different place. But it seemed vaguely familiar, a stone platform with a pedestal in the middle. It was something we've already seen in the first world, back when we were looking for a way to get rid of the ever-blooming flower. As in that old vision, Nerissa sat on the pedestal, her head bowed low, but the shadow of a proud, powerful nymph we'd spoken to with but recently. The place she sat literally emanated an intense pressure and feeling of stiffness. I guess it was some sort of magical prison. As we approached, Nerissa raised her head and she spoke in a muffled voice. You! I remember you. Our meeting is the last of my bright memories. Evervescent dream. Afterward, there was a battle. My sister slain by a monster with such ease, like wind exhausting candles. Defeat and pain. Why have you come? To relish in my despair? No, I don't succumb to evil and despair. Only then will we have a chance. Yes, you deserve your fate. No, don't succumb to evil and despair. Only then will you have a chance. Something strange shone in the nymph's eyes. It was as if the words of the king had been imprinted somewhere deep in her soul. <laughs> With these final words, the vision faded, taking us back to where we entered this crazy world of melting dreams. Song is sad today. What happened? Once young deer have barely grown their antlers, they face their fathers in fierce combat. Have you ever seen it? The time has come. You are a stag now, not some defenseless fawn. Go, go and fight. You were born for glory, my wolf cub. There is room in this world for all sorts of different birds. Some sing sweetly, while others screech proudly. But the peacock displays bright feathers to outshine them all. Be my peacock. Shine! You will become a king whose glory shall overshadow all within the River Kingdoms. If you lose, my heart stops along with yours. My Skylark, your song is sad today. What happened? Once young deer have barely grown their antlers, they face their fathers in fierce combat. Have you ever seen it? The time has come. You are a stag now, not some defenseless fawn. Go. Go and fight. You were born for glory, my wolf cub. There is room in this world for all sorts of different birds. Some sing sweetly while others screech proudly. But the peacock displays bright feathers so easily trapped. Stags and wolves, skylarks and peacocks. Armag, Tristan, the stag lord, Irovedi all turned against me because of you. Just what kind of zoo do you have set up here? 
This is just a small part of it. A tiny taste, so to speak. For thousands of years, I have kept the stolen lands beneath my thumb. And for thousands of years, blind tools of my will ascend. Just to be thrown down again. And again. And again. And you shall take your place among them. Sure. I shall end this suffering. Myself, my friends. One more grain, and another grain. One, One more grain. grain. And, and another, another. Grain. grain. This one took a hundred years to obtain. And that one was just a week. The first bears the blood of three generations burned in war. The second, just two well-chosen words. And one little betrayal. This will never end. Never! Do you see this cup? It has a name, you know. The Apology. Within it is the Stag Lord and his crazy dream to become a king and take me as his queen. And Armag and his never-born barbarian empire. Who will fall in next? Pitax and its peacock king? Or you? <laughs> <clears throat> I know your story now, Nerissa, unfortunately. What I don't know is how to help you overcome the curse. You are insane. Stop this before it's too late. Don't understand what you're doing. I'll stop you one way or the other. I'm going to keep going trying to be the nice guy. What is this, a dream? Or is someone actually playing games with me? Speaking words that pierce like arrows, teasing me with the hope of salvation beyond my reach. I have had strange dreams recently. Times before the curse, and a meeting that never occurred. So, this is a dream. But you have entered it from reality. <gasps> Exquisite. Very reminiscent of the methods I typically use. For a thousand years, none have come so close to me. And I assure you, none ever will again. Oh, I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. But you... I like you more and more, my hound. Perhaps I have no need of that stupid peacock anymore. I could let you tear him apart if you wish. I know where a tool lies that will let you clip his wings. The evidence of his crimes. Something he's been hiding from his Pataxian allies. But he could not hide it from me. Remember this name. White Rose Abbey. That is where Iravetti would usually meet with me in the past. And the place where you will find your tool against him. 
Oh man, another ambush. It seems like you take me for a hound, but not some but for some foolish chicken. Don't get your hopes up. I won't dance to your tune. Fine, I'll go. Let's see the worth of your words. My brave, brave hound. They will get along nicely, I dare say. Stopping now. I can't get into here. It won't let me go. Man, that was insane. Oh, I fell on the ground. The path of dreams is complete. <laughs> <laughs>